I think every one of these classics, a director has the responsibility of discovering its immediate significance. What is it about The King and I right now which is making the most sense here? Getting to like you, getting to help you like me. This story seemed to me this weird tension between cultures and the ability to dance together or sing together. That's kind of extraordinary. I'm struck by the universal themes that, in some instances, could have been written yesterday. So many things about this role speak to me. This woman literally changed a nation. And that's something that I think is unbelievable. She's an incredible lady. One of the more joyous things for me is getting to know you. It's about these two cultures coming together. That symbolizes something greater in the show as a whole. The beautiful thing about Rodgers and Hammerstein is they're undervalued for how innovative they were in the musical theater, trying things that no one else had tried. It's pretty impressive what they they were onto as artists. If you listen to the melody line of Something Wonderful, it flows in and out of her emotions, just like the highs and lows of marriage, the highs and lows of being a woman. We speak in a whisper, afraid to be heard. These are beautiful, romantic songs. And they are songs. epic, sweeping, you know, yeah. love ballads. You can feel the people on the audience. They're so with us, and they're with the young lovers, and want them so, to be so together. Music, of course, is still gorgeous. So it'll hold up forever. Ever. So yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, jinx. We're, we're freaking out because obviously we just recorded. We a just show. recorded an original, original cast album. <laughs> Not only because it's just such an iconic show, but this is an iconic team. Bartlett Shear. Ken Watanabe. No. Why not holding two hands like this? No. Uh... As a matter of fact. Was like this? Yes. One of the sexiest moments in all of musical theater is simply a man putting his hand on the side of a woman's torso and then dancing that sexy dance, the polka. Why do you stop? You're not pretty. No. Go on, go on. No, Your Majesty, I didn't realize I was... Well, after all, I'm not a dancing girl. This orchestra, it still catches me off guard sometimes. And I'm floored by it. Well, we have the largest orchestra on Broadway right now. I think there's a renaissance, an interest in hearing this kind of orchestral grandness. This is when people fell in love with musical theater, and so it makes me very proud. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three.